Yeah, it's a year and a half ago when I came second. Uh, yeah, it's a long time. I had an interview the other day where the interviewer said that now I did the race a couple of times and then I had to remind him, yeah, actually I only did it once. I still remember it with very uh, fond memories. This is my eighth uh, Tour of Flanders. Yeah, it's it's. This is a really special group, and especially because uh, Julia is in the World Champion jersey. When we did stop for the coffee, you see that the atmosphere is really good. That everybody is relaxed, motivated, and yeah, that it's really great group. The biggest race in uh, in Belgium. It's uh, in my trainings region. So yeah, for me, it's really a special race and. Uh, it would be my dream to, to win Tour of Flanders. Tour of Flanders 2020. Um, first of all, I want to say um, we are a team we usually go just for the win. So every, every one of you can be in a situation where he is able to win the race. That's the first goal always of this team, to win the race. This is, for many of you, the last race, just go into it. And I'll also look to Casper last year, he said, I have cramps, and at the end he got second in Tour de Flanders. So just give it full tomorrow. Even though Florian, you, you stepped up, you were second against Wevelgem. I mean, Julian, first time in Tour de Flanders, don't hesitate too much. With Riz at your side, even Tim, I saw you flying on Wednesday. Even, uh, you're going to have a different role, but still, you're, you're going to be one of the key the key players in this team also. There is a first time for everything, yeah? Tour of Flanders is uh, special because it's a monument and I, I love to race when it's really hard race and when uh, there is history about the race. I, I still remember my first time when I did uh, some classics or my first participation uh, at the Tour de France. It's always a nice feeling, a lot of excitement. We have the confidence in everybody. We can play tactic-wise, like for example, uh, Julien. I think he only has to follow the big names in the race and uh, with all the others we can play a bit uh, with breakaways or uh, make the race hard. Florian has also a good sprint, uh, Stibi also. Kasper and me are a bit more time trial specialists. I'm a little bit nervous because I have so much respect for this race. I'm still always on the start like, this uh, is Tour of Flanders, you know, it's Tour of Flanders, come on. I think there's just something special about the fact that you need to, to, to have that strength uh, to do the scobble races. You still have to have like some Finesse and that's why I really love this race and I always loved it. It was always my favorite uh, race watching uh, watching it on, on television. Come on boys. You know the Quartermont. On top you will still know if you're still in the in the course. Come on guys, come on. Eh? Flanders is always hectic, really nervous. Everybody wants to be in the front. Uh, what I hear from my teammates, it's like, yeah, you need to be focused uh, since the start to the finish line. And uh, it's really physically and uh, mentally really hard to give everything all day. This should not have happened. Julian was surprised. Not only Julian can, uh, can handle his bike, one of the best of the world. We were just surprised that uh, suddenly the motorbike was there uh, and then he had an the crash. I mean, this is uh, really a shame to lose this race or at least a chance to win the race. But it's cycling, I mean, it's, uh, it's an outside sport. Uh, there are so many obstacles you have to take. So it's never easy, it's always, it's always a risk. You always need luck. The move from uh, Julian on the Koppenberg was strong and I think the only only two big favorites that could follow me and follow them. And then the race was perfect. Even in the group behind, we still had three, three guys in. Uh, it couldn't, couldn't gone better. I mean, this is uh, 
tactically, I think we were probably in the best situation. We were we were ever in a, in a classic race. It was a dream to participate at this uh, beautiful race and it's my last uh, race of the season so I always gave uh, everything uh, 100% but uh, for sure uh, even more now because uh, uh, it, wa it, it was a special year.